Hello everyone, I'm Clayton Christen. In today's video, I'd like to talk about something serious that has been happening for, for months, for more than a month actually. I think it has started in July. I'm talking about the Amazon fires and I haven't made it a video so far. I only posted on my social medias about it. Uh, but this is the, my very first video about it because there was a lot of commotion, a lot of misinformation and I would like to, to wait to see how things were going but uh, anyways, this still, the forest is still on fire and I would love to talk about this, about four things what happened if you if you were in on you know, holidays in Narnia and you didn't know about it so who is to blame and who is the responsible for that and the latest news because uh, I don't see, I mean, the, the commotion diminished a little bit, so I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about, especially on the press. So I would like to share the information. And lastly, how can you help? But before I start, if you like this video, if you like my content, I would like to invite you to comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel, ringing the bell, right? This way you're gonna be notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on my social medias that I'm gonna put here. You can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, or Instagram, all right? So um, to start this, I'd like to talk about an article from the website bigthink.com. The article was published on the 22nd of August, uh, 2019. Uh, is written by Stephen Johnson. It says Brazil's Amazon fires, how they started and how can you help? So I would like to read a little bit of, uh, for you guys. Every every article, every website I mention here, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put the link in the first comment. I'm gonna pin uh, the comment. It's gonna be a fixed comment. It's the first one. If you roll, if you scroll down, you're gonna see the comment there. I'm gonna post all the links there so you can have a look. All right. The article starts for weeks. Fires have been burning in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, likely started by farmers and ranchers. Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, has blamed NGOs for starting the flames, offering no evidence to support the claim. There are small steps you can take to help curb this deforestation in the Amazon rainforest, which produces about 20% of the world's oxygen. So the article starts, open close. The Amazon rainforest has been burning for weeks, blanketing cities in smoke and stoking already heated political conflicts in Brazil. On Wednesday, the skies above Sao Paulo, my hometown, the skies above Sao Paulo, the Western Hemisphere largest city, turned dark with smoke, making day look like night. Ominous photos of Sao Paulo spread across news outlets and social medias help in the hashtag pray for Amazonas and Amazon rainforest to trend on Twitter. I'm closing quotes now. Um, yeah, I remember I called my mom on that week. I think it was the day after. And she said that she uh, uh, that took everybody by surprise because around 3 p.m. the sky were dark. It feel it seemed like uh, it was the beginning of a town and it was only 3 p.m. and everybody was scared everybody thought it was a big you know thunderstorm or tropical storm anyways so uh, the article continues experts say most of the fires were ignited by humans likely by farmers and ranchers to clear land which is a, which is an annual practice However, the current numbers of fire in Brazil is, is unusually high, with more than 73,000 so far in 2019, uh, more or less approximately an 8% increase from 2018, which means, I mean, it is 8% increase uh, if you compare to the same period in 2018. So, the article continues. Half of those fires started in the past month, which means July, all right? Because this article is from, from August. So the article continues. But Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, he ran a presidential campaign that openly called for exploitation, not conservation of the Amazon. Suggested NGOs were responsible, responsible for the fires. I'm gonna close calls here. 
Jair Bolsonaro is the, the Brazilian president. If you look here in my, on my channel, I have already published, a quite, I don't know, I think two or three videos, I'm not sure, about Jair Bolsonaro, the trap he represents. I've been talking about this on my social media for a long time. So he accuses the NGOs, but he has no proof. As many allegations and many accusations he does, he has no proof. All right. So for me, he's he's the worst president we have ever had. Uh, for many reasons. I'm gonna put here uh, on the cards the video, the link for the video of a, another Brazilian um, YouTuber, and she explains in depth the whole situation. So it's it works for you to see. Anyways. He has this hate speech about many things he denies science which empower people to do this type of things. This type of speech empowers people like the farmers to do that. And they said they would do that to show Jair Bolsonaro they, are, they wanted to work, they are, they are willing to work. It continues, I think it's already the end, okay, guys, because the article is very short and I don't want to sound really boring. I know I read very slow because, it's, anyways, English is not my, my first language. So, on the question of burning the Amazon, which is, in my opinion, may have been initiated by NGOs because they lost money, what is the, what is the intention to bring problems to Brazil? Bolsonaro said this week without providing evidence, what I'm saying. So I'm gonna put here, all right, as I said, the link for the, the website, Big Thing. So it has many information. There is the, they also shared the WWF UK um, video talking, uh, showing uh, the fire in Amazon. And um, so, and uh, almost in the end, so they show how can you help, all right? So what can you do to help uh, open close? It's going to take serious policy overhauls and su supplement, supplement, supplementary conservation efforts to curb this deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. But there are some steps you can take to help make a difference, such as donate to protect an acre of rainforest through the Rainforest Action Network, buy a tiny bit of land through the Rainforest Trust, donate to the World Wildlife Fund, which, prom which promises to offer emergency relief and advocates for stronger laws in, in the Brazilian parliament, support Amazon awareness through the Amazon Aid Foundation, buy less paper and wood considering Amazon deforestation is largely driven by logging, uh, eat less beef, Brazil is the world's largest exporter of beef, and much of the deforested land in the Amazon is used to raise cattle. And these two last ones, I think that's because, okay, you can say, no, I'm not going to donate money because I don't know these foundations. You might be suspicious, even though you can do your research, you can, you have the right to, to investigate all these foundations. Even the, uh, the World Wildlife Fund, that is one of, one of the most known, yeah. But uh, these last ones is an action that we can start doing, and even I... I consider it, you know, start doing this to eat less meat because I think I would be very hypocritic, you know, condemning the fires in Amazon and, you know, and still eating meat all these years because we eat a lot of meat, a lot of meat in Brazil. Barbecues are one of the, you know, most known um, Brazilian dishes in Brazil, and it's even though it's delicious, I I feel bad. You know, doing this, knowing uh, that to raise the cattle, they are burning the forest. I mean, despite the fact of you know all the way some 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 um, some how can I say slaughtering houses. I think the way they they kill the animals in most of the place and the conditions the animal are are placed there, it's inhuman the way they are treated. So buy less paper and wood, recycling. All right. We used to be in Brazil, one of the biggest um, countries. I mean, that that recycled. You know, I think it was 30%. I'm not, I'm not sure, guys, but it was around 30% of our of our 
of our uh, trash, of our waste, it was recycled. So we were, we used to be one of the biggest, you know, recycling countries in the world. Nowadays, I don't have the information now, but a recycling is a good thing. Here in Ireland, they they um, they they recycle at least the paper and some types of plastic. Unfortunately, in Brazil, we recycle all type of plastics, including the bottles. To know the um, what is it called? The um, oh my god, the P P E T um, type of uh, plastic. You know this one from from the bottles of uh, soft drinks and something. Um, so recycling is one of the things that you can do that really can do to help and eat less beef especially if the beef is coming from Brazil and uh, I'm, I'm not sure okay I'm not sure if I can do this but at least I'm gonna try to decrease but uh, would be I'm considering becoming a vegan person all right it's hard I love meat but every time I if I if I start thinking only about the pleasure of eating meat anyways I think I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do but if I think how my body reacts it reacts after eating meat yeah I think it's something that I should consider because I feel more energized if I eat something healthier with no meat because the, even the digestion is faster so these are the, the ways you can you can help again link here in the first comment uh, the latest news it's it's very funny because I mean I, I I put this on Google and um, it showed me two articles actually caught my attention because the first one is from The Guardian um, and it is from, from today. I'm recording this on, on September 9, 2019 and uh, it says uh, Chaos, 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 a journey through Bolsonaro's Amazon Inferno. Again, link in the first comment. And the second one from LA Times, Los Angeles Times, it highlights opinion, the Amazon rainforest is still burning and we are all in danger. I have to, we have to be careful because sometimes what I'm seeing that, yes, it's still on fire, but the highlights sometimes are too, um, I wouldn't say exaggerated, but they are not showing the whole, the whole, the big picture because actions are being taken at the least it seems our actions are being taken because for example one of the actions um some israel israel soldiers were sent to brazil to help um to come to help the the, the fires there you know to, to combat the fires there what else um let me see there there is another new here from 18 it was posted 18 hours ago almost it is in portuguese guys that's why I, I have a difficult to, to translate anyways so uh almost 40 fire outbreaks uh were controlled in um in, it is a indigenous uh area called jacunda according to to the brazilian army all right but uh, some some actions are, are being taken but uh, it seems that the forest is still burning all right so um and it's very hard because I mean it is there is the weather condition do you not know, I mean I'm talking about the wind because the most fire it makes more it do you not know, makes the air flow and makes more wind that helps to spread the fire uh, throughout the throughout the, the rest of the forest anyways so um, I'm gonna put put all the links here as well even though they are in Portuguese if you speak Portuguese or if you can use that the tool on the Google Chrome to translate so you'll be able to to know about the news so it's still on fire but uh, at least now it seems the government has it seems that the Brazilian government has woken up and they're trying to do something but uh, the only thing is if, if the actions are enough I think one of the biggest problem in this in the Brazilian government specifically talking about Jair Bolsonaro because he wasted a lot of time fighting people you, know, you might have known about what he said about um, about about Macron the, the French uh, president about his wife what he, one of his ministers also said about his wife he called her ugly so he said a lot of he said bad things about uh, Michel Brachelet a former uh, Chile's president anyways so he, he wastes a lot of time with 
you know, fighting people because he likes to fight. Is on the is on the fight. He you know increases his popularity. Even even if he, even if his popularity is, is you know is is that good, uh, he you know increases. He he likes this. He likes to fight people. Anyways, yeah. So um so yeah, guys. I think that's it. I think that's the latest news. The only thing that caught my attention because. I don't see this international newspapers talking about the actions, right? I kind of scanned, you know, through through. Oh, if they are saying they are not putting this in the first, <laughs> on the first paragraph, anyways. So uh, I think this should be, you know, explained to people, anyways. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Hope you have liked it again. If you like this video, if you if you like what I'm doing, if you want me to to record to post more videos. So comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel, okay? And don't forget to follow me on my social medias because that I also post every time I upload a new content and I also post, uh, how can I say, relevant information that as well, okay? So that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a nice day and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.